How to use Microsoft Sway for newsletters and presentations. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Microsoft Sway. Microsoft Sway is a tool that allows you to create amazing newsletters and presentations. It's a tool that a lot of people have not heard of, or even if they do hear of it, they are more of a reporting tool as more of a reporting tool. But Microsoft Sway is really diverse and can be a great platform for visual creators. So to get started with Sway, simply head on over to your Microsoft 365 account and click on apps on the left. All of the different applications offered by Microsoft. We already have a video on how to use Microsoft lists so if you're looking to create some amazing workflows over there make sure to check that out as well. But we're going to be looking into Microsoft Sway today. So we're going to click on the Sway application. Now from here you will see the opportunity to get started with Sway. You can build communicators, presentations, newsletters, and much more. Click on get started over here. And from here, you will see your sways. Then you can start from a template and you can get inspired by some of their featured presentations or sways. You have three options when you're getting started. You can either just create new and start from scratch. You can start from a pre-existing document or you can start from a topic. I want to start from a topic. So let's say I want to start from the topic of psychology. Or let's say I want to start from the topic of organizational psychology. So it's pretty specific. And you guys will see that it is powered by Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is going to be providing the relevant the relevant information to create your outline. So you can click on create outline and subfields of organizational behavior. So the fields of psychology like this. And now this is going to create a sway about the topic of subfields of psychology. And the sway that you create from a template or from a topic can completely be customized. So you don't need to worry if, even if the original outline that it creates for you is not relevant to you or is not something that you like, it can still be altered to your personal liking. So let's proceed with our Microsoft Sway and you will see it might take a little bit of time depending on the complexity of the Sway that you are creating. It is going to vary and every time you create a Sway you have two sections editing. Firstly you have a storyline section and then you have a design section. Now this might take a little bit longer so I'll show you guys how you can get started from scratch. So this is how you get started from scratch. On the top left you have storyline and then you have your design. Now let's say to start organizational slash industrial and then I will click on background and I will just search for economy over here and I will just add this photo and I can just drag and drop this over here. You can browse content from multiple different places. You have all of these options that you can Add. Keep in mind that if you're doing commercial use, you should make sure that you do have the commercial licenses. Now over here, once you have your simple storyline, you can go into the design section and you will see how the sway is being designed. You can even click on a focus point, add a focus point. Now after that, you can choose to add headings, text, images, stacks, and upload multiple different images. You can also group information in the form of grids, comparisons, slideshows, stacks. Now, I just want to add a first level heading. No, not a first level heading. I think I just want to add some, which is going to be the start of a era like this. So now I have done that. Now, if I click on design, when I add a simple text within the storyline, it will be added as a simple text within the present slide. I can add emphasis, I can add accents, bullets, numbers, and more. And on the right, you will see the font sizing as well. And from here, I can begin by adding my next slide. So I want another heading. So this is going to be my first section. And from here, let's to add something related to psychology. So I'm just going to search for psychology. We're going to use this image of Freud. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and add another heading, not in the second card, but within this card over here, I will add a first level heading, which is going to be changing from 
Freudian analysis like this and then after that if I show you guys how it looks like in design the start of a new era changing from Freudian analysis now the best part about using Sway is that you will see how seamlessly they are integrated. You have the first slide, which interlinks onto the next slide like this, and any of the, you know, any of the text cards that you add are going to be linked. Now, this is how you create presentations. You can build upon your storyline, but you can actually do so much more with newsletters as well. So if you're looking to create newsletters, you can see you have templates for that as well. So if you take a look at this internal newsletter template, this is a simple template that we can view. You can see this is what the template looks like and we can click on start editing template. This will prepare the template and you can customize it with your own info. Now from here on the top, you have the heading. Let's say this is my November newsletter. And after that, we have our first card title. Instead of summary, I want to say new brand focus and in this newsletter we are going to add our new employee benefits the best job growth and our new brand this and then after that i can proceed with the next card now you can see within this template there is embedding as well you can add 3d content there are multiple different cards that do not have any type of background and if you take a look at the design element of this visually, if you scroll down, it's going to look pretty much like a newsletter, pretty much like an email, rather than having multiple different images in the background or on the sides, which usually are going to make it look like a presentation. So when you're building newsletters, try to keep at least not one image, but like try to keep it minimal. Don't include an image in every single brand, in every single card because that can make some of your sway designs look more so like a presentation. Now this is what it looks like when you play it and it looks really nice. And then after that, you can manage these settings. So you have different layouts for newsletter layouts, make the layout the default layout. And for other, for presentation layouts, go for the second type of layout, which is going to be sliding towards the right. And then you can also uh, choose to have a book if you're looking to create something like a newsletter book or something along those lines. Now on the top right, you have the permissions to uh, set up accessibility settings as well as settings for the sharing of your Sway. So if you click on play and then click on share, you have the opportunity to add people, get send them a visual link where they are only able to view the Sway. If you want them to have editing options, click on edit over here and then copy this link. And then people that have that particular link can then edit within this way. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.